What is going on, folks? CJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, here, head of Community 4 out of the park developments. We are back with another Tuesday Brave stream. But if you've been following along on the internet, you know that we recently announced that Out of the Park Baseball 25 is coming soon. It's going to be coming out on March 15th, 2024. Uh, but if you want to head over to ootpdevelopments.com right now, pick up a standalone copy of the game, you will get access to the beta on March 12th. But uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to talk about that for a little bit here to kick this stream off. And then we'll get into our normal Tuesday Brave stream stuff. Sorry about last week between weather and illness. The uh, stream got knocked back. But uh, we're here tonight. We got a lot to talk about. We got a lot that we can't talk about yet. But I think we're going to have uh, have some good fun and learn a thing or two. Like I said, OOTP25. Currently, you can pre-order it over at OOTPdevelopments.com if you want to do that thing. Uh, we also have a, a developer live stream schedule. So you want to be sure next Monday... The 26th, you want to be make sure you're subscribed to youtube.com slash OOTP developments uh, because we're going to have a, a video over there at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time with Dr. Dynastic. He's going to be hosting the OOT, OOTP 25 reveal show. Uh, it's going to be him and Marcus chatting about some of the new features. Uh, and then next Wednesday, uh, there's going to be a, a Twitch stream right here on twitch.tv slash OOTP developments which is going to explore the nooks and crannies of franchise mode. So you definitely want to check that out. Uh, then March 6th, we're going to be digging deeper uh, into our new partnership with the Baseball Hall of Fame. Again, that's going to be here on twitch.tv slash OOTP developments. Uh, and then March 11th, Monday, uh, Paul Spohr, the great Perfect Team content director, uh, is going to be unveiling Perfect Team 25 for everyone uh, it doesn't say it here but tuesday when the beta goes live i'll be here we maybe we'll bring our braves franchise uh into ootp 25 maybe we'll play something that you don't even know about yet who knows uh but a couple things that you should know like i said you can go over to ootpdevelopments.com right now get your pre-order in you're gonna be saving 35 uh, sorry 30 percent off this year uh, retail price is going to be $49.99 for Out of the Park Baseball 25. Uh, so for this pre-order period from now until about a week after launch, uh, you're going to be able to get the game for uh, $34.99. So do not, I repeat, do not come to me on March 23rd saying, hey, what happened to the pre-order pricing when you will have had over a month to swoop it up because I'm going to be mad. I might not even respond to you. But if you come to me on March 23rd, wondering what happened to pre-order pricing, we're going to have big problems. Uh, but yeah, so if you pre-order on the site, you will get access to the beta on March 12th. I believe that says that somewhere, somewhere on here. Yeah. So pre-order here, $34.99. Uh, when you pre-order, you get early access to the final beta version of the game on March 12th, a whole three days before the official release. Uh, the main difference between buying on the website and Steam is that Steam kind of tracks all your licenses and updates and stuff. Uh, but if you buy it from the website and get the standalone version, uh, you need to essentially handle that on your own. You know, you'll get the updates when, when the game updates, you'll launch the game. that will be, hey, there's an update. Then you'll go and download it and install it. But with Steam, Steam handles all that. Uh, and with the standalone version from the website, you can activate up to two PCs. Uh, but Steam will let you do, I don't know if Steam even has a limit, but you have to be logged into the Steam account and check in to the internet so many times. You know, all the normal, the normal Steam stuff. But Steam will not be getting... Uh, the early access to the beta. Uh, but like I said, we will keep the pre-order price of $34.99 on Steam, Epic, and the Mac App Store 
uh, until, I guess, the day of the 23rd. I'm not sure if they're going to do it all day on the 23rd or just end it on the morning of the 23rd. So I would recommend you do all that. And you can go add it to your wish list on Steam if you'd like. Again, you can go to OOTPdevelopments.com. Click on the OOTP25 banner, and then you can wish list it on Steam if you'd like to do that. Uh, yep, 25 years of out of the park goodness. If you didn't know, the 20th the number in uh, the name of the game is the release number. That's going to be our 25th year of out of the park baseball. Hence, out of the park baseball 25. It's been a great journey. Uh, everyone who pre orders, uh, I guess, including that first week, you'll get your. Uh, perfect team bonus packs as well. You can read about that again on the website. Uh, as I said, we have a new partnership with uh, the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Again, we're going to be talking about that on the 6th. Correct. March 6th, twitch.tv slash OOTB developments. And have a deeper dive into our new partnership with the Baseball Hall of Fame. Uh, what else we got? The new thing we can talk about a little bit. Can't go into like crazy super in detail because we're going to be doing that in those other streams. Uh, we've got this new, uh, player development lab, which we've got a screenshot here, uh, that you can take a look at. It's essentially going to let you in the off season. Uh, and you can tell some of these screenshots were, uh, approved prior to transactions. Uh, again, uh, these are screenshots from beta software and, you know, ratings not yet final. All those asterisks that you need when you're looking at a pre-release information. Uh, so during the off-season, you're going to have the ability to uh, add some people to your development lab. And you're going to be able to give them programs that are going to take different types, uh, different lengths of time uh, to work on specific parts of their game. So like here in a screenshot, you see Willie Adamas. He can go, you can work on his base running fundamentals, which is stuff that, He's probably already good at, but if you want, he's probably got a low, I'm going to guess a low power. And that's why generate bat speed is going to be something hard for him to learn. Uh, but you can, you can select that and try to get him to do something better, learn a new position, things like that. And again, this is just a screenshot of the, of a offensive player, but uh, pitchers have similar things. So kind of gives you a deeper way to tell an individual player what to work on. I know we see like, oh, these guys are power pitchers. Let's get up, make sure we get a pitching coach that handles power pitchers and hopefully we'll make them develop better. This gives you a little bit more of a, a magnifying glass on exactly uh, what you want the players to work on. Uh, that's a, one of the big new things uh, this year. Uh, what do we got here? Beautiful Camden Yards, still looking great. Uh, we have some new filters for when you're playing games. This is a nice little, uh, little green screen kind of thing. Uh, I believe the development, development live should be also for uh, historical games. Uh, also new perfect team sandbox stuff. This is gonna give you a place to actually like set up your tournament teams and stuff. Uh, so you can kind of play with them outside of being in that uh, being within perfect team, trying to make all those, all those changes with clock ticking and stuff. This will give you a, a place to do that by yourself. Uh, 2024 MLB rosters and rules. Obviously we try to be the most accurate representation of what you actually see uh, in baseball. I know something a lot of people have been asking about how do we're going to handle Otani's uh, contract? We still currently don't have deferred money in the game. Uh, Otani's contract is essentially going to be $46 million a year uh, because that's what it's going to be when it hits the uh, tax line for the Dodgers IRL. Uh, a couple other screenshots. You can see the uh, new 2024 MLB Live Series cards for a perfect team here. Uh, what else we got? Normal manager screen. Braves won the World Series. So every time we get a new beta, I load up the game, make sure the Braves win the World Series, and then I tell them to ship it because we're ready once the Braves, once the Braves do their thing. Uh, as I said, 
You can also go to Steam and you can click the old add to your wish list button down here. That's going to give you a notification uh, on the 15th when the game goes live. If you've got the Steam app on your phone, it'll probably pop up there too. Might give you an email uh, when the game goes live. So you can uh, hop on that. Uh, you can read through the Steam thing. I think the Steam thing kind of leaks something that I didn't know we were leaking yet, but I'll let you read through that. Uh, a couple more screenshots that we can just pop through. Obviously, your main OTP25 screen, again, Oriel Park, Camden Yards. Another one of the uh, sweet camera filters that we've been working on. This one is the one that reminds me, uh, when I was a child, we had like a, like a three and a half inch portable TV in the kitchen before we upgraded to like the 13 inch TV in the kitchen. And uh, I would watch Mets games and they would pretty much look like this. Uh, the manager screen. We're still continuing to work on our uh, stadium creator stuff. A uh, little polar bear. LV scores. Again, continuing to work on all of our uh, super stats replay stuff. Raised in the World Series, obviously, what we need. Saw some of these screenshots already. Uh, continuing to upgrade our. Uh, what was this? I forget what the name of the screen is called. You know, the uh, where they're going to hit it kind of thing. Spray charts. Spray charts is the word I'm looking for. Thank you. I feel like maybe this is more the three and a half inch that I had in the, in the kitchen. I think the other one maybe, maybe was more the 13. Because that three and a half inch, you still had to like dial in to catch the RF uh, signal. Maybe this is a more accurate representation of that one. Oh, look at that in the chat. You can add it to your Steam wish list uh, with that link right there. Uh, we finally got that wall on Camden Yards fixed. So happy that that happened. A little historical stuff. That old timey screenshot. Uh, this is another one on top of that development lab that we showed off before. You're also going to have a little bit more uh, control over the development training plan of your guys. So if you, there's something you want them to focus on more. Uh, and something that you want them to give a little bit less of a focus on. Maybe they're sick with a slider, so you want them to start working on their changeup a little more. You can you can kind of tweak that stuff uh, as well. Again, more of this is going to be talked uh, in depth. Uh, I believe it's the next... Uh, there's going to be probably some on one Monday and Wednesday of next week. Uh, Monday on YouTube, and then Wednesday on the stream here. And again, it'll all be archived over on YouTube.com slash OTB elements for you. Uh, I think that's all the screenshots. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. Uh, there is one line that I guess, uh, yeah, they probably shouldn't have wrote that in there yet. But hey, it's in there. You can go read about the game uh, over there. Again, like I said, uh, you can pre-order it now over at otpdevelopments.com if you want to get access to the beta. Again, it's a standalone copy. You're not giving out Steam keys or anything we haven't done in like nine years and people keep asking about it. Uh, Once you chill out, my guy. Uh, but yeah, I think OTP 25 is kind of, kind of amazing. You know, I, obviously um, semi, semi bias, uh, but I've been, I've been playing it. I've been loving it, loving the new stuff. Uh, very excited. Still more stuff to announce. I think there's going to be some more stuff announced in the next week or two. Uh, so highly recommend you you uh, pick it up if you haven't already. Or if you just want to add to your Steam wish list now. Uh, when the Epic Store comes up and the Mac App Store comes up, we'll get links for those. I, I feel like the Mac App Store won't go up until the game's actually out. I don't remember how Epic works, but you can add to your Steam wish list. So you get all those notifications, head over to otbdevelopments.com, sign up for a newsletter too. Uh, you could have known about this way earlier. Uh, if you'd have done that, you would have got the email super early one morning. Or if you were on our forums, you'd have known even earlier because you would have known a German nighttime, which is the day before or the very early morning, America time. I think that's everything. I feel like that's everything for Out of the Park Baseball 25. Uh, hmm. Let me just run down the uh, the schedule for you again. Again, 
Monday, February 26th. Uh, Dr. Dynastic is going to host the OTP 25 reveal show with Marcus. That's going to be over on youtube.com slash OTP developments. Uh, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on over there. And then Wednesday, there's going to be a more of an in-depth uh, exploration here on Twitch. Uh, and that's going to be in-depth into the franchise mode. So that's going to hit up all the stuff like development lab, uh, develop individual development training stuff like that, hopefully, and some of our uh, new additions that we're going to be talking about. Wednesday, March 6th, we're going to be talking about our partnership with the Hall of Fame. Again, that's here on Twitch. And then Monday, March 11th, uh, Paul will be officially revealing Perfect Team. Again, here on Twitch. And then the 12th will be the beta launch for those who have pre-ordered uh, the standalone copy through the website. And then uh, the twelfth at night, we'll probably be streaming. Uh, we'll be streaming probably some OT twenty five. Yeah, we'll be streaming OT twenty five. I don't know what we're going to be doing in it, but uh, if we get to the off season of this Braves franchise, maybe we'll bring it over there, throw some guys in the development lab, and play around a little bit, and see what happens. Uh, and then we'll probably announce our new team in that stream, which I've already forgot what team it is. I know what team I wanted it to be. And then I kind of decided against it, but I'm still kind of interested. I got to see how some of these contracts look in the game to uh, make my decision before I start finalizing anything. All right, folks. Thank you for bearing with me through that 17-minute ramble about a game you were going to pre-order anyway. All right, I know, I'm crazy. I just wanted to make sure you get all that. But again, if you come at me on March 23rd saying, hey, what happened to the pre-order pricing? And I say, hey... You had pre-order pricing for a month and a half, and you didn't say nothing. I don't know. I don't know what to do at that point. Let's dive back. This is my perfect team. I don't know why I'm my perfect team. Give me the OTP start screen. Here we go. That's what I want. My team even playing? I didn't even look. We're currently in July. 20 lie. We're in June 2025, 27. Oh, my gosh. I'm losing it. Been a long day. Kids got strep. They had a three-day weekend, so he's been home watching YouTube. I'm losing my mind. He watches some YouTube channel. They have... They're, they, I don't know what the thing is, but they're always using Discord in it, so I hear the Discord message notifications going off nonstop. They're making me lose my mind. All right. Currently... June 2027. We need to have a winning record. We're doing that. We need to sign Ronaldo Lopez. We did that. Got to get our attendance up. We're working on that, though it did kind of go down, which is not great. Uh, improve our record in close games. I don't know what our record is in close games right now. Let's look that up. Uh, and build a dynasty, which I think we're getting close to that. Uh, but, you know, beginning of June, currently my birthday, 2027, I'll be like 43 or something. And we are third in the division, only two games back of the leading Phillies, and a game behind the Mets. And we're a game behind the Mets for the second wild card spot. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to do some work here. Forget where we are with injuries because it's been a little bit. Acuna is still out for another two months, so that's great. Uh, what do we got here? Matt Olson day to day with a knee contusion. That's really it. Anything pitching that I need to look at? Let me, yeah, I can sit there. Spencer Strider, six and zero with a one fifty six ERA. Good. Sergio Orozco, four and five with a five twenty ERA. Not the greatest. <sighs> What's the prob, Bob? What oh, is the problem? They're bat pipping them a little bit, but striking out guys, not walking a ton of guys. I feel like 1.3 home runs for nine is not too bad. He's not really walking a lot of guys. Giving up over a hit and it ain't. Six run, four run, five run. I mean, he's getting smacked around every once in a while. That's kind of the problem. But I got to deal with that. Ryan Weathers, three and two with a three ERA. Abdel Medina, 359, 394. 
Cade Cavalli. Cade Cavalli one and five with a five. What was it? A four ten ERA. Is getting some bad luck here. What was this? Why do you get like a thirty five pitch start? Oh, that was all about. Oh, is that the one where we got like blown out or something? <laughs> uh, it'll still have uh, face gen faces. Poor guys. Or are you talking about imperfect team? Imperfect team real players will have their real pictures. Historical players, except for some specific ones, will not. But I'll tell you right now, the uh, blank face cards in Perfect Team are going to look real good. A, a big upgrade over the old, uh, I forget what we called them, the old blank face guys. Okay. Bullpen looking solid. I think we finally got rid of what's his name. All right. When did we get rid of Freed? We trade Jordan Hicks. I, for, I forgot about that. We traded Jordan Hicks and Jose Siri, who was in our minors, and Mesmel Tamares. And Rolando Gutierrez. We trained a whole bunch of quadruple A guys. Or David Calabrese. Okay, he looks all right. He looks like a nice little corner outfield piece for us. And Eduardo Tovar looks like a nice little bullpen piece for us. Okay. Happy about that. When did we do the freed thing? Was that even before the season? That was before the season. I, yeah, we DFA'd him in April. Wow. I feel like that was so long ago. I feel like that was also not that very long ago. We do have like 3 million to play around with. If there, I mean, there's nobody really lineup wise. Nobody's really killing it on base wise. Not great. We got some good batting averages. He money Mike to turn it around. I know he was hurt earlier. Even the guys that are doing great aren't. A lot of them are on our bench, which is not great, but they're also doing great because of kind of small sample size. A lot of just average players, which is probably why we're got an average. Uh, why we've got an average uh, record at the time. Commission, thank you very much for the raid from the EMLB. Very much appreciate that. All right, so I don't think we have. We can go side Cody Bellinger for literally nothing if we want. What's going on, folks? Welcome to the stream. You guys missed a 17 minute lecture on Out of the Park Baseball 25. All right. Kyle Isbell, another guy we love. Duran, who we were looking at picking up at a different time. All these guys free agents, huh? Interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Don't want any of these guys. Pitchers? Oh, those were the 50 pot pitchers. What do we got? Bring Kevin Gosman back in five months. Mm. He's gonna want 
wonder if it's okay. Five months, which means we will not get him back. They put a new OT now podcast. Didn't even tell me. <sighs> Development lab is going to be pretty awesome. I'm very excited. You know what we need? We need those one and one contracts. I didn't know Gosman went to LSU. Well, if I sign him to a if I sign him to a minor league contract, that means I can I'll get like first shot at re-signing him. Just saying. Bouchet. You guys are gonna freak out in 2027 when Bo Bouchette's not got a baseball team. All right. Let's just uh let's just start simming. I think we just gotta start simming and keep going. New to me too, they didn't even tell me. They tweeted out. Matt Olson leading the league. Oh, Edwin Arroyo, the bane of my existence. Puerto Rican sensation. All right, Olsen and Riley are leading. That's good. And Spencer Strider's leading. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Dante Bichette should make a comeback. I was just watching the uh, I was watching the Daytona 500 on Monday, and I compared looking at the Daytona 500 leaderboard to uh, looking at the the Blue Jays lineup because the leaderboard has all the names you remember, but they're actually just the kids of the guys that you remember. I don't know. Did anybody pick up Max Freed? No team. I don't know who would. He will not negotiate with us. And they have someone else. Isn't there a fourth one? They had Mark Leiter. All right. I for a second literally thought they said he had a 57 mile per hour fastball, which I would have believed at this point. <coughs> yeah, they also had Mark Leiter at that time at some point. I think they had another pitcher too. All right. Oh, they had a. Didn't they have Charlie Liebrandt's son in their org somewhere? I think so. Or he was just on the blue claws. He might have been on the blue claws. All right. Where are we here? Three games back. Ugh, when you're so used to playing. You ever get real used to playing the next version of a game? And so you go back to playing the old version of a game and you forget how to do everything? What do we got here? Astros, Nats. We can't do anything. We're playing 4th of July versus the Mets. Let's go. Let's just sim to 4th of July versus the Mets. Let's do one. We're going to try to make our big move. White Smith Jr. Oh, no. Nationals making a move. This NL East is too good. Spencer Strider, 17 game win streak. I was just looking at OTP 17. I was rewatching a, a perfect game that was thrown in a championship. And I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was looking at the pawns running around the field.
The big Panama hunt brings us a guy that can hold runners on. Great work, Vincent Barranco. What are we trying to get to? Fourth of July. Let's just keep winning series until we get to the fourth of July. Only a game and a half back right now. Okay, okay. I would not hate to get the series with the Mets and just absolutely bury them. Did you guys see uh, Pablo Sandoval? Signed a minor league deal with the Giants. The Diamondbacks just swept us. Not what we needed. Angels are playing good baseball? I don't believe it. Ah, I do not believe it. Where's my guy? Uh, didn't they trade him somewhere? Where's, uh, where's Rendon? Where's Ant at? Went to Arizona for a couple of years. He's playing all right. I mean, struggling this year, but. So that's what I want to know about uh, uh, the Apple Vision Pro. Can you run any uh, iOS apps through that? I don't know how that works. If so, I would love to try OOTP on it. Cal Connolly, current eye improves. Adam Meyer, control improves. Quintero going down. Hate to see it. Matt Champion going up. Yes. Yes. George Lombard Jr. Love it. Yeah, we got some guys' kids in here, too. Okay. Okay. July 1st. Game and a half back. Second place. Mets are two games behind us. We have an off day. An off day. Very excited with the team's performance. Good. You won 500. We're four games over. Got him done just like he liked. Attendance is a problem. I know. Breathe easy, my guy. Campos. I'd like to have this guy on our squad now. Can we make that happen, please? That'd be handy. Super duper handy. I do know uh, if you have an Apple Vision Pro, uh, MLB, I don't know if it's a version of at bat, but they have some sort of uh, immersive World Series. Uh, thing that you can check out okay so what's our why are you marked as a starter I don't understand So Strider's tired. 19. When did he pitch? He pitched that game. So Strider won game one. Why are you tired? My rotation is not in the order of which I actually want it. Very not psyched about right now. <laughs> okay. Pablo and Coco.
Okay. And here's game three. Weathers. All right, let's see this Medina game. Let's try to win right off the bat and uh, see if we can make some things happen here. We got the squad. Money Mike leading off. Ozzy's playing second. Austin Riley's at third. Matty O's at first. Hitting cleanup. Rafaela's in left. Yoshida's the DH. Big Murph behind the plate. Riley Green's in right. Covering for Acuna during his injury. And then we got Everson Ortega's at short. Abadella Medina, 6-4 to 384 ERA. And a 155 whip is on the mound for our Brave squad. The Mets. Let's go, Mets. F-A-N, do-do-do. Are they even still on the fan? Who knows? Who would possibly know? Uh, they got Randy Arozarena. They have Randy Arozarena as their DH leading off. Petey Halpin from our Braves team. Uh, is their right fielder. Uh, Francisco Alvarez catching and hitting third. Polar Pete Alonzo, first base for hitting cleanup. Uh, Brian Reynolds is their left fielder. Brandon Nimmo is in center. Matt McLean is the shortstop. Jared Triolo is your third baseman. Rodolfo Castro is at second. George Juan, probably Jorge Juan, uh, is there for is their starting pitcher. He's four and two with a two nine four ERA and a buck twenty whip on the season, striking out eleven point three batters per nine. Okay, okay. If we have sound, we have sound. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Or how long? Spin move. I gotta take some uh, Dramamine. Or spin move like this. Wind's blowing out to center at five miles an hour. You're telling me money might lead off Dinger to deep center? You tell me money, Mike, almost dinger to right. Oh, off the top of the wall. He's going to get three, though. All right. I'll take it. I'll take three. I'll take a little dish. A little dish of three. Okay. Like those tapas. All right, Ozzy. Drive him in, my guy. If you strike out, I'm going to be so pissed. Thank you. Or, or... Just hit a lazy fly ball to right field and let it go over the fence for a two-run. Jack, let's go, bartender. Pour me some Jack. Home of the Mets. Home of the Braves. Can't wait till Ronald Acuna Jr. names his child City Field Acuna, just like Chipper named his son Shay. Austin Riles. Matty O. Just loitering. Gonna get a seven hundred dollar ticket for loitering after that one. The fella flies to center. I don't know if you saw Spencer Strider's new curveball. What? Gotta make sure that's in the game for next year. Make sure I make sure I send an email about that. All right, Abdiel. Let's see what we can do here. O2 count to Randy Rosarena. What? Why is my why are you talking to me, Siri? Chill. Chill. Did you get my password off the Maybe clack clacks? Alright. Liner to Artiga, I'll take that. Big Petey. 3-0 count. Oh, you walk him on four. Okay. Happy because we believe Alvarez is gonna hit a double play? I think it is. Or just to pop up to first. Right. Pop up to the mound. Even better for me. Let's go, Mets. Full count to Alonzo. He drives it a deep left field. Caught by our left fielder. Not gonna lie, pretty pumped for the Braves, uh the Braves to start playing baseball. Though kind of a not a lot going on in the offseason, just because their lineup is so stacked already. Uh, and everybody's got long deals. Yoshida works the walk. Get that on base up. Love to see it. 1-1 to Murphy. 
Oh, he's going opposite. Takasit. Let's go. 382. Giving the Braves a four zip lead here over the Mets in beautiful Flushing, Queens. Oh, it is Flush Flushing, Queens, New York. Artiga, Money Mike, you want to hit a dinger and get ready for this uh, cycle? Drop that in. Double on a dinger away from the cycle already, and it's only the second inning. Azahi. It's out looking. Okay, Braves up for zip after the Murphy home run. Full count, Brian Reynolds from Medina. We're going to walk him. Wah, wah, wah. Here's a Brandon Nimmo. Singles into right field. Whoop, 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 whoop. Matt McLean. This is the Reds guy, right? The Reds traded him in 2023 for Anthony... For Angel Perdomo, who's already retired. And Anthony Salmedo. The single A. And he was also traded with a second baseman who's retired. Pirates traded him to the Mets. For Nick Morabito and Alex Ramirez. Alex Ramirez playing good for the Pirates, actually. They're playing decent for the Pirates. All right, let's see what we can do here. Strikes him out swinging. Love it. Let's go. Two down, one down, two down. Two on, one down. Jared Trio to the plate. Roll it. Oh, Anderson. Averson. I have too many guys with A's in the name. The Averson, Artiga, and Antonio Anderson are my shortstop prospects. Bases loaded, one down. Don't love this. Rodolfo Castro coming up. He's got three dingers on the season. But he's going to pop out the third. Randy, oh, Rosa, Arena, 2-2, two, two. strikes out looking. Medina gets out of the jam. Run, Madison, run. Okay. Big Riley style, full count. Strikes out looking. Matty O, 2-0 -O to Matty O. Rips one to the third baseman. But an easy 5-3 for out number two. Sadeen. Big fella. And then left field line. It's going to drop in in front of their left fielder. Four single. Let's go. Two down. Runner on first. Mastaka Yoshida up. Walked earlier in the game. Gets a full count and flies out to right. Bottom of the third we go. Petey Halpin leading off for the Mets here. He's got no two count. And rips a single right back through the middle. We'll play depth here for Francisco Alvarez. Oh, one to him. He swings. That, like, hit him in the foot? What is going on? He just dribbled that out in front of the mound? Okay. Great play by Sean Murphy to uh, jump out of the squat and get the lead runner. Pete Alonzo walks on a full count. Runners on first and second. One down for Brian Reynolds. One-two count to him. Rips it to Matt Olson, who throws the second. Back to first. Can't turn the double play. All right. Mets got runners in the corners for Brendan Nimmo. Two down here. Two-two count to him. Turn to Ozzy. Easy play at first. And we're out of the inning. That's cool. I have not been checking on Medina's pitch count. 63 through three. Big Murphy of the opposite field two-run home run in the second inning flies out to Pete Alonso. Riley Green, rounder short, thrown out at first. 
Artiga, Artiga, do something for me since that uh, last defensive endeavor was not the greatest. Deep fly ball to center, but nothing happens here in the fourth for our Braves. All right, 60, 63, uh, 63 pitches for Medina so far. 1-2 count to Matt McLean. He's another guy. Hits a little dribbler out in front of the plate, but Murphy is there to pop up and throw him out. 0-2 oh, to Triolo. Strikes out swinging. That is the third K of the day for Medina. Rodolfo Castro, two down, 1-0 oh count. Popped out last at bat. Going to ground out to Ozzy here to end of the fourth. Uh, Medina, tell me about Medina. I should change his nickname to Funky Cold. Uh, no, give me pitching game logs. He's been going like keeping him in like like 80. Okay, all right, we'll probably get another running from him. Okay, money Mike strikes out looking. Come on, fun key cold. Ozzy, a little something for me. Hey, man, put it in play. It's all I can ask for. I'm not worried about your bat bip right now. Mike Bauman. Of, where's Mike Bauman right now, Matt? I don't even know. Full count to Austin Riley. Two down. And he walks him. Loses the three hitter there. With red hot Matt Olson coming to the dish. Full count, two down. Oh, he blows it by him. 97 mile per hour chatter. Can't keep, can't keep, can't keep, can't keep, can't keep, can't keep. All right. All right. I figure we got about 10 to 15 more pitches from Medina. See if he can get through this thing. A little grounded to Riley to start it. That's going to get you some extra time. 2-2 two, two to help him. Fly out to left. Ruffella is there. Ruffella attributes has low, low speed, but he's good defensive speed. All right. 84 Medina to face Alvarez here. 3-1 count to him. And he walks him. Don't love that. 85 pitches. What are you thinking, bench coach? Schreiber Cobb combo. Trying to look. I like the Schreiber Cobb combo. Okay, let's just uh, hey, yeah. let's take a breather. I know you got a couple ladders left in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Or Pete, just you know, brave easy, my guy. Let me uh, that good control and decent stuff. Okay, to uh, oh, to Alonzo. It is high, it is far, it is a caught by the second baseman. Home run in a silo, but we get out of the fifth, still leading four zip with uh, a Rafaela coming back for us here on the top of the sixth. 2-2 two, two count. He's one for two on the day. And he goes down swinging. Yo, 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 Yoshida. Pop out a second. <laughs> you still got like two more brave streams. Let's say two braves, two more streams after tonight will be focused on the braves. After that, we shall see. I don't know if on the 12th, if we'll bring the Brave stream, Brave, we'll probably bring the Braves franchise forward. We'll probably bring it forward and uh, throw it into 25 and see what it looks like. Before we play with some other stuff. That, that stream on the 12th probably going to be a long one. We'll see what happens. 
Medina's at 88 pitches. Uh, I'm going to call it there for him. Uh, you're better versus righty. You're both better versus righty. But we're going to make him all bad lefty. So we're going to go Jacob. Let's go, Jacob. Jacob. Oh, while we were gone, uh, my son went to his first uh, Devils game. Fly ball deep center field is going to be caught out there by Money Mike. He apparently enjoyed it very much. Speaking of Devils games, make sure you head over to odpdbuildings.com. Check out Franchise Hockey Manager 10. Maybe we can transition and segue with the best of them. Two outs. Big Daddy Jacobs. <clears throat> there we go. Next team's going to be AL West. Just kind of tossing between which two teams. There's two teams that I want to be. I don't know which one to be. One team got a sick spring training hat, maybe? I'd rather get a batting practice hat because spring training hats don't love the logo on the side. Just kind of a me thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. But let's go to Mike Bauman on the mound as he faces Riley Green. 2-1 count. A little dribble around in front of the mound. All right. Artiga. I'm not expecting a whole heck of a lot out of this at bat. Oh, I was not expecting an amazing line drive diving catch by Petey Halpin. Spring training games are in two days. I think like Red Sox Braves is like the first spring training game on ESPN or, or on MLB, right? Hey, we're going to the seventh inning stretch. And while we're there, I'd like to remind you that coming up over the next few weeks, we've got the OOTP 25 developer live stream. They're going to be happening over on YouTube.com slash OOTP developments as well as Twitch.tv slash OOTP developments. Make sure you check them out. We've shared this over on the social channels as well. And don't forget, you can pre-order OOTP25 right now. Save 30% over at OOTPdevelopments.com. And you can add it to your Steam wish list. ba da ba ba da ba All right. Jared Triolo. <laughs> YOLO, Triolo, you know what? I'm going to warm up. I'm going to get you going. Let's get out the needle and yarn and warm up Garrett Crochet. <clears throat> oh, I was doing that and the pre-order thing popped up in the chat. What perfect timing. All right, Jacob, keep it going, my guy. One, two, count to Triolo. Grounder to Riley. Hug <laughs> yeah. I would like to try to get Schreiber lined up to face uh, we can have a long uh, Schreiber face uh, I want Schreiber to face Alvarez Alonzo Reynolds which could be in the ninth the way this thing's going alright Jacob strikes out Strikes out Castro, who argues the call and gets yeeted out of here. Adios, muchacho. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Here's the only thing. It's fine. It's fine. If we have to have try or face Halpin, that works. Okay, you're done. Triber in. Face help. You're going to walk helping on four pitches. Great start. We are here. It's true. You're only here to face Alonzo. And then he hits the hit. You're here to face Alonzo and you let him get a hit? And then we hose him out at center. Let's go. Let's go. Are you kidding me? What is it? Shift F10? Superstats replay on this ball hit to Money Mike with the cannon. 
an absolute canon to throw out insert name of guy. I think it was Randy Rosarena. Wow. Rosarena got some speed, too. Money Mike, though. Showing off the arm at 60 arm. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, oh, no, he, Alvarez hit that. No. Okay. Uh, let's get Carlos Duran Ormina. We got the lefty, we got the righty. That should get us through the game. Charlie Sheen coming in the bitch, a.k.a. Carlos Estevez. Starts it off with a walk to my man, Ozzy Alves, who's got 11 stolen bases on the year. We're not going nowhere, though, right now. Is that like three Ks for Riley? Three Ks and a walk? Not the greatest look. We're going first and second for a rough fella. Uh, a little double play ball. Oh, told you, Rafaela, sneaky fast. Corners in the corners for Yoshida. Who goes left center gap off the car? One run scores, two run score. Yoshida with a two RBI double, making it six zip Braves here in the top of the eighth. Big Murph. Big Murph shoots one to right field, but it's going to be caught for out number three. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. All right, let's go. I do want Crochet up because he's going to come in after two bad. Beautiful. Beautiful. Breathe easy, my guy. Crochet, you're coming in. Facing him up. Two pitches. Gets the out. Love it. Love it. Love it. Camilo Duvall over here. Hey, Camilo Duvall over here. Oh! Uh-oh, Riley Green saying Ronald who? Ronald who? With a 400-foot dinger to put the Braves up 7-zip as I kick the heck out of my desk. Love it. Doval County. Gets the K of Artiga, though. Not loving that. Money Mike, what you got to say? Base it. Three-hit day. For Money Mike. Ozzy Elvis. That's right. Okay, okay. All right. We're on first. Two down. Austin Riley's going to strike out again. That's only four. It feels like it's been 14 strikeouts tonight for Riley. Oh, uh, go, go, McLean, what are we going to do with you? Kind of the same verse, both. Oh, base knock. Okay. That makes the decision quite easy. All right, we're on our first. Let's play depth. <laughs> Strike out. Let's go. JD Davis. Oh, JD Davis got all of that pitch. 392 to left. Two run jack, making it 7 2 Braves. Randy Rose ran a 3 1. Grounder to Matt Olson. Fireworks haven't even finished. Petey Halpin gets a two out single. The Mets just will not go down. Oh, he tries to pick off Petey Halpin at first and throws it away. 
Why are we just falling apart right now? We'll take the strikeout. Blowing in 96 mile per hour heat. Freezes him. Dun, 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 dun. Atlanta rode a fine outing from starter Abdel Medina to victory over the New York Mets at City Field. The final score was 7 2. Medina, the winner, moves to 7 and 4. He threw five innings of two hit ball while fanning three and giving up four walks. Got to work on that in the offseason. Atlanta is now riding a three game win streak. Sean Murphy, a 32 year old catcher, had a direct impact on the outcome. Murphy contributed to a two run home run on the top of the second inning, putting Atlanta up four zip. I'm proud of the way our guys played today to come out with this win, Murphy told the Atlanta citizen. Atlanta citizen? Should be Atlanta Constitution Journal of Constitution, right? AJC? I feel assist was nasty. But in the pitch good, everybody pitched good. No complaints. No complaints. <clears throat> Medina, player of the game. Rodolfo Castro was ejected for arguing balls and strikes. It's fine by me. Fine by me. We're going to kind of see how far we can get here in this next little bit here. We're uh, a game back of the Phillies. Okay. Playing the Mets again. Treat the Mets. Come on out and beat the Mets. I'll take two out of three from the Mets. That's fine. I feel like we should take three out of four from the Reds. All right, all right. Now we're tied with one less loss. Well, that's going to change in a second, probably. We really need to take three out of four from these uh, and from Cincinnati. That would be good as we run into the All-Star break. Got one win. Trade proposal from the Pirates. Hold up. Wait a minute. Pittsburgh wants to send us Lloyd Boykin. Luke Boykin. And Ryan Johnson. Or Roberto Perez Jr. Okay. And Eric Parker. If it wasn't Eric Parker... Submit your offer because I don't want to give up that guy. Ooh, we got two dubs. Three in a row. Can we get the sweep? We got the sweep. We got the sweep. And I, Unite, I've got to narrow down to two teams. I just don't know which one. I would love some of these last free agents to sign just to help me lock up my decision. Because in theory, one of them could add one, I would think. Maybe, maybe each of them could add one. I don't know. Is not gonna <coughs> That's not that trade's not gonna happen. Sorry guys. Mason Montgomery out of Lubbock, Texas. 
the race traded for him in a monster deal. They gave up him, Santiago Suarez, Cam Leonard, Mason Auer, and Gianti Turner for Andrew Heaney and Anthony Gutierrez. What was he 12 when they traded him? That was four years ago, so he was 18. Okay, okay. Currently two and a half games up. Love it. Love it. Is that making our uh, place sell out? You're dang right it is. You're dang right it is. Pretty sure I have a report I'm looking for that I can't think of the name of. I'm talking about our yeah here. Got a lot of guys that are ready. Justin Best overmatched. Hate to see it. You've been an A for two years and you're getting overmatched. And George Lombard is right there, too. Vance Hunnicutt. Do the first year player draft coming up. Okay, let's get to the first year player draft. Not really worried about the prospects game right now. Right here, right now. Prospects rosters. Hold up. Wait a minute. Who are we sending? Anybody? John Alkiri. Okay, this guy looks legit. Six and three with a five thirty five three three fifty nine ERA, 122 whip. What's his name, though? Breakouts came down a little bit this year, but we're doing pretty good. He was our second round pick out of Penn State in 2026. Bobby Sinsheimer. Bobby Sinsheimer. Yep, that's fine. Not really a starter. Lefty, 6'4, 190 lefty. I think I remember drafting this guy. Bobby Sinsheimer. Okay, okay. All sorry, I've been urged. What do we got here? Who the heck is Trenton Denholm? We've asked that question before in the past. Spencer Strider is going 10 and 2, 229 ERA, striking out her verbata. Only a 9.8 case per nine, though. Feels a little low. Ronaldo Lopez also going with his 20 saves. Maddie O also going. Stars are starters. How that works? I think stars are starters. Olsen's going. Riley's going. Chase the Lauda. We can't just send everybody on our team. Okay. Why do I have a game verse? Oh, this is the Sunday. This is Sunday, right? We got a Sunday day game. Uh, 
today. Four games up. Ooh, that feels good. What were we, three back to start the stream? Four up now. 33rd pick, though? <sighs> Two comp picks with a 33rd pick. Pretty sure he will not be in the game next year. Box score. Akiri, one inning, one hit, one run, one earn, one walk, one K. Kind of did one of everything. Seen Shima. Came in, walked a guy, struck out a guy, got a dub. Great job. Good, 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 great job. First year player draft. We're going to be getting scrub daddies over here. Joe Schmidt. Out of Rutherford High School in Rutherford, New Jersey. Can't really say no to this, right? Left-handed hitting center fielder? With speed? Durable? 3.5 million? Oh, his demand is 1.9, but the slot is 3.5. So we're st stealing them. Stealing them. Yeah, we're taking, we're taking Joe Schmidt, draft player. Signability extremely hard. I think not, my guy. Once we start flashing that cheddar. Yes, third and run, you missed some OOTP25 talk. But you can pretty much just go to OOTPdevelopments.com and just read everything there. Pretty much just said what that said. Taj Knuckles, my favorite Sonic the Hedgehog character. Or you can wait till I archive this or end the stream, and you can go back and watch the beginning of it. Thousand Oaks. I think I know someone who went to Thousand Oaks. What do you say, scouting director? The Ringer. Knuckles for the name, right? Draft them. Steve Buchanan, Adam and Alpin. We're just going to draft all New Jersey guys, I guess. I'm playing this average competition, he hit 474. Sure. They're just mad I didn't draft that first base. The other first base didn't they wanted. Chase Peterson. 6-4 lefty, throws ground balls, no changeup though. Is this the play? We draft this guy? Knowing that we're going to throw him into the development lab and oh, TB25, try to get that changeup up? 4D chess right now? Less than sign guy. Mm, that we're not dealing with. 
We're not going to figure that one out. That feels like a extremely hard situation. Give me a better. Vince Hartle. Jaheim Playbrooks. I'd rather take a shot on Jaheim Playbrooks. What are you guessing? What are you suggesting? Vince Hartle? Third base, kind of good glove. Can't turn it up play. Yeah, you go to University of South Carolina, that's fine. Aiden Boone. Nope. Aiden Christensen's son, Nate Christensen. I love the avoid K. Don't love the discipline. But YOLO. That's all we're going to draft right here. Complete that draft for me. Let's go negotiate. Should be good. He wanted less, but I think he initially wanted less, but we're a hard sign, so we got to pay. But with these two guys being cheap, we should be able to sign him. impossible why did we sign them i don't know just to keep their rights okay uh not gonna play the all-star game let's skip through that who won the ding adobe david mckee about here crushing I know you want to be in the majors. I want you in the majors too. Somebody give me something, anything for Big Dave May Cable. Big Maple McCable. Give me a prospect package for Big Dave. I thought Dave McCabe was going to be the future of this organization. I thought he was going to find a spot somewhere. The Yoshida thing really messed him up. And then the him not performing when he came up a couple times really messed him up as well. Because if he'd have played good, I would have kept Yoshida and left. I would not have probably tried to root for Rafaela, who I'm pretty sure I got after Yoshida. And he would have had a spot. For uh, for him, uh, his name is capitalized because I have a, a note about him. I'm not trading any of these guys on this list. Or not. Oh, is he, uh, why is he, is he? Mm. Why is he listed? I don't think he should be.
I thought it's because maybe it's because he's shortlisted somewhere. Maybe I have him on a list somewhere. I thought Caps Lock was. It's on a short list, right? What short list are they are on there? Are they on? I don't remember where to see the short list. Figure that out later. Figure that out later. All right. What well, Dina? Things doing good. What were we trying to do? Trade what's his name, right? It's not gonna work because nobody's gonna want him. Okay. Do I have him on my on the block though? That's my question. Is this guy a major win? Out of Rutgers? Man, we're getting all the New Jersey guys. With the prospects, we don't add someone. O team. You might be on like. The do not trade list is what he could be on, probably. I don't know where to see all those lists. Thank you. Yeah.
Gotcha. Gotcha. Manager menu. Player search and shortlist. Shortlist. If only I remembered why I put all these people on a short list. So many. All right. All star game. Do we figure out who won the Homer Derby? Aaron Judge. Classic. Classic Aaron Judge. Hey, we got Chris Peterson. Second round pick, right? Fourth round pick. I didn't think we were actually gonna hit this guy. All star game. Don't really care about. It. Let's get through that. Ezekiel Tovar wins the MVP. And we got our sixth round pick. Did the Braves do anything? Brandon Fett. So we didn't let a... Snyder pitch, huh? He was tired. Okay, good thing he didn't start. Any hits for any of our guys? Walker. Olsen. Olsen got a hit in the walk. Okay. Riley. Two Ks. Yeah, Riley is becoming a problem. Becoming a problem at the plate. All right. Keep going. Keep going. I do you want to check the uh, five trade periods? Okay. Don't think we need to worry about. I mean, a different starter would be great. <laughs> Kate Cavalli's struggling, but I don't know who he would bring up. That looks pretty good, though.
Meyer was struggling, but he's had two good starts. They went ahead and Cade down and bring up Jack Cage. Cage jump, not Jack Cage. I mean, I'd send Cavalli to the bullpen, but. And Bryce Elder, I don't think, would have made it. Yeah. I mean, I know the game wants to put Schreiber as a starter for some reason, but we're not going to do that. All right, let's give that guy a try. Okay. Might as well put Kate on the trade block, right? What's his contract? Two mil? Schreiber's pitching great, but going to be a free agent, kind of our third or fourth option. The real question is, what are we going to do with Ozzy? Okay. Like anybody in AAA is just kind of kind of be on. Where's he's hurt? Of course he's hurt. They're all hurt.
Sounds like a really good game, Ezra. All right. Let's sim. Let's just keep going. Bobby Wood Jr. and Ricky Tidman got into a fight. Sweet. We got Taj Knuckles. We got Joe Smith. Let's go. Let's go. Sonic and Taj Knuckles, even though he's got no changeup. Just want to delete the changeup out of his arsenal. Would that be wrong to just go in to the editor and take it out? Hey, Sam Pro didn't come with a USB cable? You sure about that? Oh, USB-C to USB-C, right? Not USB-A to USB-A. Correct. C to C. That's, all, that's what all the good computers got. What do you need? A to C? I only have 74 A to C cables if you need me to send you one. A Royal out for eight weeks? I could open up the... Uh, I could open up things. I think I have you two USB A two USB C ends. Eric Lauer, who I don't want slash need for our stud Bobby Sinsmeister. I agree, Theo. This is not a deal I would do. Olsen hits three against the Cubs. Seize the hotness. See, you can go both ways. Unless you're Apple. Interesting. What did Gage do here? Five and two thirds, six hits, one earned, seven Ks, or seven Ks, seven grounders. Took an L, but I'll take that. He took a one zip L. Come on, guys. Dude's pitching his butt off, and you give him an L. 
Probably do a USB PCI card. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Not no front uh front USB A. Uh, no front USB C. I have front USB C. We'll have front USB C. Yeah, I would have thought. I'm trying to think. Well, yeah, that's weird. I'm surprised there was some USB C. But. Well, what comes in the regular face cam? Because I'm not diving behind my desk to figure out what it is. Ah, uh, the regular face cam comes C to A. All right, Cage is doing good. The 25th, I mean. Put a game and a half on the Mets. Uh. Minter, minter, minter. Out two to three weeks. Okay, but Acuna's going to be back soon. So that's like, Acuna coming back is essentially a, uh, a great all-star trade, right? You're trading for an all-star at the at the break. So who are we bringing up in the pen? Has Cavalli pitched down there yet? Biganel. McKinley Moore. Claimed on waivers from the Phillies. I think Rodri's on the 40 man though. I don't know, McKinley Moore is too. Rodri's not, is he? Wow. Wow. That is kind of crazy. You would think they would come with USB A cable. Unless USB A just can't handle the, the transfer rate. But I feel like what's it? 4K 1080p, right? Or uh, 4K 120, right? Yeah, putting the PCI card is easy, but pain in the butt. Some work you shouldn't have to do, you would think. McKinley Moore. Yeah. Yeah, you got a, you got a new webcam. Time to just buy a whole new computer. Come on. Come on. All right, where's this guy going to fall in? What do we have? Well, now we got to redo our whole bullpen kind of thing. Uh, okay, no, that works out fine. We can leave more. Long relief. I don't really love. I don't really love either of these guys in long relief. Driver would be like an opener. I don't want any openers.
you can be a sometime specialist. I should move Prussia up higher in this. Keep it there, see what happens. Nationals want to send me Pete Fairbanks, who is just another bullpen guy. Evan Blanco and Josh Temple. Or Dave McCabe. That's kind of the steal of the deal that we were looking for. Do we have the money for this? No bad, we just called this guy up, and now we're gonna be sending his butt back down. Oh, I feel bad. Got this guy's hoops all up. Didn't even get a day on the squad. Quit clicking in the wrong place. Players. Pete Fairbanks. Hey. Now show me the pen. How far do you want to move Fairbanks up? You can be the emergency SP. Okay, that worked. I like that. I like this. Uh huh. I like that. Uh huh. That works for me. Okay. Plus two weeks. Lacuna. Anybody else wants to blow me away? That'd be great. Yeah, the case doesn't even have USB-C on the front. That's kind of crazy. Shannon Griffin, who I don't want. Yeah, no. Welcome back, Attica. Reject and also reject you. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a 4K camera is a little, a little overkill because like this is 1080p, but I'm in the, but I am in a window that is three eighty three by two fifteen. So two fifteen p down here. Even the big screen, the big camera. This is. 
This is 720p. How about that lighting? OTP launch party? I think I can get rid of this. Oh, no, 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 no. Thanks for watching. We're still here. Where are we? What are we doing? Clicking all the buttons over here. This is why I use the stream deck and I just push the right button and don't have to worry about it. All right, Rockies. Uh, it's the Rockies. Uh, Want to give me Clark a Schmidt? Uh, Tove? Ah, I love Tove. Oh, TV24 are going to be sick. I wonder how much one of those cables is. I wonder, if, can, does a motherboard give off 7.5 watts of power delivery? That's another good question. Good call. I guess we'll not be upgrading to the base camera. Tyler 12 actually getting kind of good. Is he better? Than, I feel like he might be getting better than uh, Big Murph Dog. Offensively kind of the play. When's the Murphy's contract up? Shop Murphy? <sighs> Is the OBS bot the one that follows you around? Attica, do you still work at Best Buy? There's a laptop I want to see. I want to get an HP Dragonfly G4. Sean Murphy's getting all this from his fielding, right? That's 15 mil, though. Oh, you know what? Doc, now you got me thinking, is the, is the, uh, is the prompter is going to be USB-C to then, right? I was not thinking about that. Now I need to check if I have, uh, if I have, uh, USB-C on the back. Or should I trade to hold? I don't want Clark Schmidt. Everybody needs more USB-C ports. That's why I have a USB-C to more USB-C ports uh, thing. Do I need the Chrome Dog for somewhere? I don't really need the Chrome Dog plan anywhere. <sighs> yeah, she does an absolute zero at war. No, no, I think I like, I like Tove's bat. I 
Ich muss sagen, toll. Dodgers want to send me Lucas Sims, who we love. This dude who looks pretty good. And this dude who's okay. Or this guy who we're never going to use. <laughs> Only thing is, now I'm out of spots for guys. <sighs> you know? Requires 40 games finished. Games finished. That's not going to be a problem. I like this deal. I don't really need to catch her. on the 40 man Oh, and Murphy, love you. Gonna wave in DFA.
No rule against 14 pitchers, I believe. Is the limit 13? I don't remember. I don't think it's a hard and fast hard and fast rule. Kid Cavalli is still kind of getting smacked around down there. All right. Let's, uh... Let's end it here before we drive into the trade deadline stuff. So then this next week will be trade deadline. Power on for the playoffs. The, weekend af the week after will be playoffs. The week after will be OTB 25. Max is 14, right? Is that, that's not like a weird with a two way guy, right? I always try to keep it 13 13, but with the DH, you don't really need to, but you know how it is. All right, folks. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to keep talking about USB stuff in the chat or if you want to go somewhere else. Attic Online, let me know what people think of the HP. NV 14 something. It's essentially the Dragonfly G4. Dragonfly G4, I think, is the professional version of it. <clears throat> After Dark starts at 11.30 over at Ezra Stream. Don't forget, folks, Out of the Park Baseball 25, currently up for pre-order over at OOTPdevelopments.com. You can, while you're there, also add it to your Steam wish list. Read about all the cool stuff that is going to be in the game. And don't forget, over the next couple weeks, starting next Monday on YouTube, Dr. Dynastic himself, who is in the chat right now, him and Marcus, going to be chatting it up for the OOTP 25 reveal show. That should be a, a very good thing to watch. Ezra, yes, Steam will have the 30% discount. Uh, when the game launches on the 15th on Steam, Epic, and the Mac App Store, uh, the 30% discount will stay for a week so that everyone can get that pre-order pricing uh, if they wanted to get it from a different store other than just a standalone copy from OOTPdevelopments.com. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. We're almost through the 2027 season with this Brave Squad. And... Uh, I think OOTP25 is going to be great. I've been playing the betas. Can't say anything about any of the other stuff that we can't talk about. But uh, I think it's going to be one heck of a game. I think you're going to love it. And uh, look forward to you all checking it out. Take it easy, folks.